What's good guys, I'm John the Chief, and for this video, it's going to be on how to get the jetpack in Fallout 4. Now, in order to have a jetpack, you need to have one of these three types of power armor. You either need a piezonucleic torso, a T60 torso, or an X01 torso. You don't need the legs, the arms, or the headpiece, you just need the torso. You'll also need an intelligence of 6 and a strength of 3. And your minimum level has to be 41. If you do not have high enough level, I recommend clicking on one of the links in the description down below because that will have a link to my method of leveling up extremely fast within Fallout 4. The reason why you need to be level 41 is because you need to have 4 points into the skill called Science, which requires you being level 41 to get that 4th point in it. You'll also need to have a skill called Armor, which also needs to have 4 points in it, but that only requires level 39. All of these are only available when you have those specific intelligence and strength that I listed earlier. In order to actually make the jetpack, you would need 7 adhesive, 10 aluminum, 9 asbestos, and 12 nuclear material. When you meet all these requirements, all you have to do is put your power armor into the power station, and what you'll have to do is just craft it. You'll go over to where your torso is, modify it, and add a miscellaneous mod. That will be where you'll find the jetpack. The jetpack is extremely useful for skipping certain parts of missions where you can already get to the top of a building or you can avoid using elevator where you're actually supposed to be needed. It can actually be used for multiple things. Hope all of you guys enjoy the video and have a great day guys.